From the field at Gillette Stadium, you've hit the bullseye inside UB Athletics. We're your Buffalo Bulls radio team. I'm Paul Peck with Jim Kubiak. We're here because the Bulls are the first team from Buffalo to ever walk off this field with a victory. They do it by beating UMass, a game that they trailed and played bad in the first half, Jim, but somehow the Bulls find a way to fight their way back. How big is this win for the growth of this team? Huge win. Buffalo on the road down 13 to nothing at halftime, and they do a great job of regaining their composure and their character, and they come out and play a well of a second half and get their first road win this year. Well, the Bulls were down 13 nothing in the third quarter and struggling. It's been an up and down year for the Buffalo special teams, but they're the ones that turned this whole game around. A block punt is our turning point play of the game. Well, we always emphasize attack plays. Early in the third quarter, right away, you know, I knew we needed some spark. The punt is blocked. We called for a punt, a block. It was the execution of Adam Redd. I just came through, and then I see that they had three shields there, and then my job is to get past them. It's blocked. It's picked up by the Bulls. I grabbed the ball. I really realized what was going on, and I just took off. And Adam was the first person I saw in the end zone, so it was, it was pretty great. Running to the end zone is Kendall Minifield. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Well, it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Buffalo gets a huge play on special teams that results in points, and they sorely needed something to get jumpstart this football team. And they played physical defensively, and now they pour through and get a block punt and get points out of it, a touchdown, a huge play for this Buffalo football team. I kind of realized that that was like the momentum switcher there. And then from here on out, just keep it. Well, Jim, the blocked punt changes the momentum, gets the Bulls going in the right direction. But the big picture on this win, it's the first road win in 13 games. It's the first three-game winning streak since 2008. But aside from it being a win, which are always welcome, how big is this win for this team to sort of understand how you have to dig deep sometimes? Well, you talk about belief and you talk about maturity and you talk about being in big situations where you have to make clutch plays. And that's exactly what Buffalo did and it started with a great block punt that resulted in points and really got the team going in the second half. And, you know, there's a lot of guys that have their hand in this victory, but, you know, Joe Licata did a great job. Some huge throws on third down to keep drives alive. It is third down and seven from the 35. Licata in the shotgun, Murray in the backfield. Shotgun snap to Joe. Spins the ball, throws the ball to the sidelines, a catch and a first down. Lakata fakes the handoff, Joe's to throw. Deep down the middle of the field, Fred Lee's got it at the 15 and down inside the 10 yard line. And Rashad Jean, you know yeah. we're gonna talk about Rashad Jean. Let's, let's talk about him. What a great story. Rashad Jean has been a defensive lineman and a fullback. He had never carried the ball. He's a senior, only a couple games left in his career. Well, with all the injuries, the Bulls turn to him and the kid turns out 77 yards. And really, the Bulls wouldn't have won this game without his running. You're exactly right, and, and Rashad Jean hadn't carried the football all year, and a converted defensive lineman, a senior, and he turns out a great performance also by the offensive line. They do a great job of controlling the line of scrimmage, and what a super effort by, by Rashad Jean. And, and he was a big part of the drive that clinches that game. Talk a little bit about that 80-yard, seven-minute drive to put the Bulls up by 10. You know, really, that took the steam and any chance of a comeback out of UMass's possibilities. Tell me, take me through that drive, will you? Well, first of all, you know as an offensive unit that you need to get first downs, and I thought, you know, a run-pass combination and Rashad Jean grinding out yards on the inside and moving the chains time and again and taking time off the clock. It demoralizes a defense. Lakata under center, hands it to Dennison, who throws it, and it's a catch and a first down. That's the play they wanted to run in the first quarter. They run it this time. Jimmy Gordon makes the grab down to the 33-yard line, a pickup of 11. They demoralized the Minutemen, and, and they took so much time off the clock, there's no chance. Right. Well, then they go up by 10 to the Bulls, and then they can let the defense loose, and that's when we saw Khalil Mack and Steve Means at their best. Khalil Mack uh, with two and a half sacks, Steve Means with a career-high three sacks. Those guys put on a pass-rushing clinic when the game was on the line. Second down, Wegson. Here comes Khalil again from the backside. He knocks the ball away. May UMass recovers another sack and a forced fumble for Khalil Mack. 
Five and a half sacks between those two guys and, you know, a nightmare really for offensive tackles. Steve Means on one side and Khalil Mack on the outside edge and they just turned it on and, and they got after quarterback Mike Wegzin who who was rattled in the second half. He was he was very accurate in the first half, but after those guys got after him, he wasn't the same. I told him at halftime, you know, it was that first half uh, really wasn't the most responsible type of play that we, we've seen over this uh, course of the last couple of weeks. And then the second half, uh, they didn't flinch, you know, and the block punt really sparked us. The punt is blocked. It's blocked. It's picked up by the Bulls. Running to the end zone is Kendall Minifield. It's a Buffalo touchdown. You could sense when we were moving late in that game. We needed a tremendous effort out of those guys. And uh, Rashad did a great job, the O-line, that's why we won the game. I finally got the chance to prove myself during practice and converted it during the game. I knew we were gonna come out with a win because as hard as we did during practice, as hard as we pre pre prepared, during halftime we were like, listen guys, we gotta, we gotta come together. So we came together in the second half, but I didn't, I didn't know that I was gonna contribute as much as I did. We got a bunch of high achievers in here, guys that are committed to finishing every single week, every single game. That's why we came down here. We had a curl flat concept to the outside and I just saw the safeties getting a lot of width and I saw Fred going down the middle, so I couldn't miss him. I had to give him the ball. He made a great play. Uh, you know, I think everybody just kind of uh, rallies behind Joe. You know, when you got a player who's as smart and great as Alex Newt is, you know that he's going to be coming. So, you know, I just trusted him through the ball low and he got down on the ground and made a great play. The play, it was a rollout play, so I mean, his one, two, and three looks are to the front side. I was the last resort option. I mean, just kind of trying to get in the field. And um, I mean, he looked back, he found me, threw a great ball where only I can get it. And we were able to come with a big score right there. You know, a lot of guys had to dig deep. And, uh, and that's the beauty of this, uh, this team. You know, it's one of my favorite teams I've coached in my career just because they've been so resilient and being able to step up each week. Uh, and they didn't flinch. That was the beauty of it. They kept fighting for each other. Having other guys step up, guys like Brandon Murray, uh, Rashad Jean, we put uh, Alex Dennison back there on some things that we did. And, you know, I really liked the way we came out in that second half and really got after them. Started off as D-line, and then now I'm playing running back. You never know what tomorrow brings. It was just a game at the beginning, and at the end it was. And then when I, when I walked over and talked to my dad, he's like, you did it where Brady does it. And I walked off the field, and I just looked around, and I was just in awe because this place is pretty amazing. Shotgun snap to Joe. Spins the ball, throws the ball to the sidelines, a catch, and a first down. We played for four quarters, 60 minutes. The game's not over until the clock says double zero. What do we have an injury? So it's a three-game winning streak for the Bulls with a chance to make it a four-game winning streak. Tell me what's going through your mind now as this season comes to an end with next week's game on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving against Bowling Green. Well, I think it's a big picture for Buffalo. You know, they've really torn through some outstanding teams in the MAC, and they've seen Ohio and Toledo and, and a couple big wins here and one on the road. And I think that the big picture is Buffalo has some really good football players and guys that are going to be around for a long time. And I'm really excited about what the future holds. Well, it's the season finale with a chance to end on a four-game winning streak. It comes up against Bowling Green.